any computer owner can benefit from a good set of powered computer speakers, whether for listening to music, watching videos, playing games, or producing audio content. Hello guys, in this video, we're taking a look at the five best computer speakers of 2023. And if you want more information, we'd also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number five, we've got the Creative T100. The Creative T100 wireless computer speakers are the most recent release in the popular T-Series. From overall design to sound performance, it's the leading set of speakers from that line. Creative consistently makes some of the best computer speakers on the market, and the T100 is one of the best budget options you can lay your hands on this year. Creative has gone with an unobtrusive design of just 3.7 by 5.1 by 8.2 inches in size, with 4.41 pounds in weight, which will take up very little room on your desk. As the T100 is a 2.0 setup, you won't have to find a space for a subwoofer. These are great speakers for those with limited space and an angled design means they will project sound directly to your ears. When it's come to the controls and connectivity options, there are power, volume control, and source selection buttons that can be found on top of the right speaker. A small remote also covers these functions as well, and it also allows you to choose from various preset EQ profiles and adjust the bass and treble to your liking. Along with a Bluetooth 5.0 connection, the T100 comes equipped with a 3.5mm auxiliary input, an optical import, and a USB input to cover all of your connectivity needs. It should be noted that the USB drive can only be used to connect a flash drive to play individual tracks. It's debatable how useful this is as most people stream music these days. The audio performance is very good for this price point, as the T100 has a peak output of 80 watts. They can get pretty loud without any hint of distortion throughout the frequency range. But the lack of a subwoofer in the setup means the bass isn't as hard-hitting as it could be. However, the bass ports at the rear of each speaker fill out the lower end well enough to not sound tinny. Higher-end sounds and voices are excellently reproduced. Overall, if you're not looking for audiophile-grade sound and space is limited, the Creator T100 is a great choice that won't blow the bank. Next with number 4, we've got the JBL 305 PMK2. For serious audio production, it's worth spending a little extra money on professional monitor speakers, and the JBL Professional 305 PMK2 is the best bet for most aspiring or professional music and video producers, or for audiophiles who demand clear full-range sound. Because the 305 PMK2 is a pro monitor, each one is a self-contained system with its own amplifier and inputs. JBL packages and sells it as a single unit, so you'll have to buy two for stereo. The 305 PMK2 offers perhaps the clearest, most natural sound we've heard from a powered speaker under $300. This speaker is also notable for its big, open, spacious sound, something not easily achieved in a desktop environment. However, the 305 PMK2 can't match the base performance of considerably larger, more expensive pro models, but if you're producing podcasts or lighter music recordings, that probably wouldn't matter to you. Each 305 PMK2 unit has an XLR balanced input and a quarter-inch TRS jack that can be used for either unbalanced or balanced connections. And if you want to use normal RCA cables to connect a source device, you will need to buy a few cheap adapters. The volume and power controls are on the back, which could be awkward if you want to connect it directly to a computer. But with a pro monitor, you're much more likely to use a USB interface or mixing board that has its own volume control. The 305 PMK2 is bigger than our other recommendations, measuring 11.75 by 7.38 by 10 inches. If you can't fit two of these speakers on your desk, you can always put them on stands, which will help them sound better. Overall, this professional studio monitor has a big, clean sound and useful settings for fine-tuning the results, but it's not as easy to use as our other picks. Next up at number 3, we've got the Audio Engine A2 Plus. Measuring just 6 inches high, the Audio Engine A2 Plus wireless speakers have a classic design. They will fit on just about any desk and provide detailed, true stereo sound and can easily connect to all your music in seconds. The A2 Plus features an elegant design and painted wood cabinets, a subwoofer output, and analog class amplifiers driving with 2.75 inch custom aramid fiber woofers and 0.75 inch still dome tweeters and also works with Mac or PC out of the box with no software to install, and saves power when not in use with an auto-sensing sleep mode. The left speaker is home to the controls, amplifier, and different ports, and a standard speaker cable connects the right speaker providing the amplified sound from the AC-powered left speaker. To get the best results from these speakers, 
You'll want to make sure they are either at ear level or angled in the listener's direction. Sound quality is a pleasant surprise for such small speakers, even though frequency response only goes as low as 65 Hz. You won't get anything in the way of sub-bass rumble from the audio engine A2, but they cope well with whatever we threw at them. Highs were also well represented with respectable clarity. The mid-range is a little forward in the mix, but that is standard for small speakers. There's a plenty of connections here, including a 3.5mm auxiliary input, an RCA input, and a micro-USB input, and an RCA output for a subwoofer also features here as well. Together with the Bluetooth connection, Audio Engine has covered most connectivity options very well. They also deliver good stereo separation, something many wireless computer speakers don't do. Couple this with excellent accuracy, and you have a tidy and transparent sound profile not always found elsewhere. As a result, the Audio Engine A2 Plus earns a spot on this list of best wireless computer speakers. At number 2, we've got the Pioneer DM50DBT. The Pioneer DJ DM50DBT set combines sound quality approaching that of professional monitors with the convenience and low cost of a home system. In its production mode, this Pioneer DJ pair put out the most neutral, accurate sound we've heard from a consumer-level computer speaker system, making it great for audio production and entertainment alike. It also has convenient features such as built-in Bluetooth support, three types of analog inputs, and a signal sensing feature, which powers up the system automatically when it receives a signal from one of your source devices. Thanks to that last feature, when you connect this speaker set to an Amazon Echo device, it basically works just like a speaker with Alexa built in. The DM50DBT set has a number of functions that make it easy to use on a desk as well. The left speaker has a front volume knob that turns off the power when turned all the way counterclockwise. The left speaker's output can also be turned off by plugging headphones into the front headphone jack. On the back of the left speaker, there are three types of stereo audio inputs. A pair of quarter-inch TRS jacks that accept uneven or balanced connections, good for use with a USB interface or mixing board, and the RCA jacks for home stereo gear, and a 3.5mm input for connecting to a computer. All of these inputs are always live, so we can't switch between them. If you have different sources playing on different inputs, you'll hear them all at the same time. One of our favorite features of this system is its signal sensing inputs. When the DM50DBT receives an audio signal at one of its inputs, it automatically powers up and plays that signal, and after not receiving a call for about 10 minutes, the system shuts itself off. Overall, this pair is good for music listening and audio production, and it features Bluetooth support and a helpful variety of inputs, but its bass is less deep than that of the larger Pro monitors we like. The last product on our list is the Klitsch Pro Media 2.1 THX. You might want more bass than most computer speakers can give you for games and watching movies, but you might not have room on your desktop for a set of Pro monitors. The solution to this problem is to use a system with small speakers and a subwoofer, and the Klitsch Pro Media 2.1 THX system is the best one we found. Its sound quality approaches that of good computer speakers like the Pioneer DJ DM50 DBT pair, and it beats all our other picks in bass output. The Pro Media 2.1 THX system has easy to use controls on the front, but it only has a few input choices and doesn't work with Bluetooth. Overall, that's probably the cheapest way to get full range sound from your computer. Many of the 2.1 systems we tried sounded great in the bass department, but struggled to clearly render sounds at the middle and high ends of the frequency range. The Pro Media 2.1 THX system's satellite speakers each with its own tweeter and 3.5-inch woofer, did not have this problem. Everyone who heard this system agreed that the speakers had a balanced, pleasing sound overall, and the subwoofer's 6.5-inch woofer produced tuneful bass that was never boomy. In this system, the amplifiers are in the subwoofer, which you're likely to put under your desk. A control module with volume and subwoofer-level controls, a headphone jack, and a 3.5mm input jack clips under either of the speakers, so you can have the controls on the right or left side. The satellite speakers measure just 8.5 by 4.25 by 7 inches each, so they should fit easily on a desktop. At 9.38 by 10.25 by 11.25 inches, the subwoofer is much larger but it's still small enough to slip easily under most desks. Thanks to a quarter 20 threaded socket on the back of each satellite speaker, you can mount them on a wall using a standard gimbal mount. If you decide to do so, you can remove the tiny metal stand on the bottom of each satellite speaker. Overall, this full-sounding system has a separate subwoofer that makes movies and video games have better bass. However, there aren't many ways to connect it, and the sub needs room under or near your desk. 
Thanks for watching. That's all for now and hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.